Paul and I'm Miss Jeannie and today we want to talk to you about our Lego class. So let's take a look at everything we have on the table. Our Lego class is part of our ECA, our afternoon classes. And in this class we use many different pieces as well as instructions and we help students from PM all the way to K3 work on their cause and effect skills while making some very fun toys. As the Lego class is for children from PN to K3, pre-nursery to K1 children will mostly be building from their own imagination and observing, whereas K2 and K3 will be able to follow more detailed instructions. See here we have different levels, so we have easier creations as well as more difficult creations for the K2 and K3 children to challenge themselves. So for here, for example, this topic will be on gears. Children will be able to challenge themselves to build this and then to think about how moving the central object can enable all four on the outside to move as well. So why when one turns to the others turn as well? And for this one, this one we are talking about ramps. So children will think about whether the car will move faster or further on the higher ramp or the lower ramp. Of course, we can also build even higher ramps or even flatter ramps. And all they're going to do before they do the experiment is theorize, and then we will do the experiment. And of course, these can move. So we can here our cars go down, and then we will look along the number line to determine how far the car has moved. And then the experiment will happen on the lower ramp, and then we will have a look at the results again. And finally, we can compare the results and then decide and think, why did the car on the higher ramp move further or less? Why did the car on the lower ramp move further or less? Using Legos in this way can help students understand more about things that they see in their everyday life. And they can also recreate things that they have seen before to show the teachers and to show the other students. learning about our level.